Hello everybody. Welcome to this third show. This is my beautiful girlfriend Kari. We're in Townsville. We're in North Queensland. It's very, very hot outside. Um, and what we're going to do today is make this delicious lunch called Lemon Rocket Pasta. So we have pre-prepared things just to save a little bit of time. Um, I've got to say that I've never seen anyone chop up ingredients like this one here. Where did you learn it? Well, from my mother. Um, and I, look, can I just say while we're here, yeah. um, welcome to our Halloween special. And um, you know, sometimes ingredients can look a bit um, bare. But we want to teach you how to turn your lemons into lemonade. That's exactly right. So what we've done is we've taken some lemons and for you, for lunch, we're making lemon rocket pasta. So first thing you need, these are the ingredients. Kalamata pitted olives. Now I just have to say, I'm a massive fan of the beautiful Posh Dali olives and that's a great story. The reason why I bought always fresh Kalamata pitted olives today is because this is the type of thing that you can have in the fridge, in the cupboard, doesn't really matter. But this is a dinner you can put together if you've got these sort of things in the fridge. Now if you've had Dali olives in the fridge for four weeks, it is not a cool situation. So this is what we're doing. Kalamata, I am not famous right now, but when I do become famous, you'll have to pay for this sort of a plug. Um, the other thing we're using is garlic, lots of. Um, I think we've got some back up somewhere with some very strong wriggly chewing gum later on. So that's a good thing. Oh, there it is. There it is extra right there. Extra white. Wriggly. Extra white. It is, it is wriggly, isn't it? Yes. It's wriggly. It's wriggly. Um, some chilli. Uh, mushrooms. Now, we have also got some lemon juice, which is in this cup. Now, unfortunately, we didn't have a lemon juicer. No. So this we may do, you and you see, can too at home. You can see that it's that easy just to squeeze. Squeeze the lemon, chop it into quarters. I'll give you a demonstration. Oh, that's Cara, a, you've got more out of that. that. Yeah, it's a simple thing. I wish I'd held the cup up to that one. Do you want to do, you want to do that again yeah, with another yeah. one? Oh, oh, I think we better up. because I don't think we're going to get what we should be getting at, actually out of... Look at the strength. Do you know this, this girl, when I was at school, she beat every boy in an arm wrestling contest. And she's still doing it with women. I'm still doing it today. I'm still with making women. the best of every situation I get my hands on. Okay? <laughs> That's great. Oh, Karen, you're wonderful. Okay, so we are going to... Get a pan. Now, da -da -da. we will put. I know this is a ridiculous amount of olive oil, okay? So, no one have a heart attack Don't with this. Break. Very good. Very this this is how I, Correct. This is how I measure out a tea, tablespoon of olive oil. Shall I hold it up? Can you see that? Great. That's a real lot of olive oil, but I'm just going to stick that on the pan to heat up. Actually, I'm going to put more than that. There we go. Lots of olive oil. Now, we will put, put this on high. What we want to do is put the garlic, the olives, the mushrooms and the chilli all in the olive oil because it's going to infuse. We're going to have this beautiful lemon, chilli, aroma, garlic infusion. And I know that you are probably at this point thinking, what the hell is going on here and where is this going? Don't panic. We're going to take you on a journey of lemon rocket pasta. So, one um, hell of a journey. One hell of a journey. Okay, so, Carrie, can you just check that for me, that that olive oil is okay? Thank you, darling. What do you think? Is, something, is everything okay? Yeah, it's definitely okay. Yeah, it's alright at the moment. Okay, yeah. please proceed. Nice. Um, the other thing we're going to do while we wait is cook one packet of bow tie pasta. You know what? If you are lack, what's the, what's the word? Um, if you have celiac, don't use this. Don't use this. out loud. It can do not use it. Buy yourself some gluten free. Yeah, plastic tasting pasta from the supermarket and do that. So we've already pre prepared some boiling water. We'll put that on. Look, and I will state, you know, we are using the best of technology here today. We've got scan pans, we've got microplanes, we've got um, Amiga ovens, like but do not think that you need all this equipment in order to recreate yes, I'm really glad this you recipe. Point, Karen. Now the other, the other ingredient, the magic ingredient, oh, maybe it's not magic, but it is pretty good, um, we've got is pine nuts, lightly roasted in a pan. 
So I actually burnt the first batch because I moved it from one hot plate onto another hot plate, but that other hot plate was on. Don't do that, all right? Because that'll burn your pine nuts. And they cost about 50 bucks a kilo, I think. <laughs> no, you're right, Colin. Yeah, You've yeah. done your research. Yeah, correct. So there's pine nuts. That goes in right at the end, but you just have that ready on the side to go. So we're going to add our olives, our mushrooms, our lemon and our chilli to this dish. Carrie, would you be able to help me with that please? Sure, what would you like me to do? Maybe the mushrooms. The mushrooms, okay. okay. Just try not to splash them in because you don't want to get oil on your yeah. arms or something. Yeah, or yeah. dare I say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, we'll do the garlic first. Okay. okay. Now look, we haven't added the chilli yet, but you know, honestly, wisdom is screaming from the rooftops, and I must say this, Colin, do you mind if I say this? Well, you may as well, you've started already, so <laughs> say what you're going to say. This is, by the way, war warning, warning, I have got no idea what this girl's going to say, so... Okay, well, what I was going to say is, for crying out loud, whenever I am using bird's eye chilli, I deworm. I deworm! Colin, do you deworm? You don't, do you? No, I'm sorry, I need no. to learn too. What you do you do? should. You should deworm before you use chilli because, you know, there's so many times we're chopping up ingredients, give ourselves the old heap-ho, you know, scratch. Um, unfortunately, there's a transference of heat to um, unwanted place. And um, so my... Look, whenever you're using bird's eye chilli, cabantrin. Cabantrin beforehand. Karen, I'm so glad you brought that up, but I just wish you'd brought it up three weeks ago because I had a situation three weeks ago. <laughs> I did. I had a situation where, do you know what? In fact, it was a situation where I thought, I've just chopped up chilli, itchy bum. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd had a pineapple at the time, I would have been saved a lot of heartache. But that's okay. Well, I've got a pineapple today. You've got a pineapple. I have fortunately deworm. Kylie unfortunately has not. But I haven't patted any dogs lately either, except for today when I came to your place and here's a dog in the driveway. What do you do? Pat the dog. It all goes everywhere. It can be very, very messy. Can I just look? This is just divine. See that garlic? That, that garlic is exploding into that olive oil. I don't know if you can see it, but I can smell it. If I tip yeah, it up any yeah, further, yeah. if I tip it up any further, I'm going to tip it all over the floor. But that garlic, there's an explosion happening there. So that's exactly where we want it. That's exactly what it should look like. This is an explosion. Yeah. And we're going to add the mushrooms. Okay. Um, look, I usually add one at a time. 